what's up youtube this is kat and welcome to my channel and today i'm going to be doing a review on the dyson corral hair straightener so stay tuned so the reason why i wanted to do this video and this review on the dyson corral straightener is because i've seen mostly women with straight hair that has used it and reviewed it and i wanted to see more women with curly hair, thick hair, frizzy hair using this flat iron to see if it was up to the challenge. So let's see what's going so, on. So I am going to section my hair out and blow dry it before I flat iron my hair. And before I blow dry it, I am going to be using a heat protectant. And that heat protectant is going to be silk blowout. And it protects your hair for up to 450 degrees. I'll be using today, but... 450 degrees now yeah. and here it is okay and then once my hair is dry and before I'm about to use a flat iron I will use texture ID and that one is here can see that okay and I'm just going to be using a Revlon um, tourmaline slash ion um, blow dryer so that is this right here and I believe I've had this blow dryer for forever so it's not nothing new so here we go completely blow dried on this side and here there's a little bit of eh, whatever going on but anyway I'm gonna start straightening my hair I will put a picture either here or here with what came in my box when I got the Dyson Corral now I got the gift set and that is slightly different from the original um, Dyson Corral so the gift set basically just comes with a comb and a paddle brush and I'll show you the pictures to that. with a detachable magnet charger. So here we are. Attach it and... So green means that it's fully charged. And I let it charge for about uh, an hour and 30 minutes. That's what it says that it takes to be fully charged. So. It has this button right here, you can see, and that button basically opens up the flat iron. Ta-da! So the flat iron is not like traditional flat irons where you can basically have it open as much as you like. Um, this one just has a button and to close it, you just put the button down, open. The thing with this flat iron is it has high technology And the manganese plates as you can see there and what the plates do what that other flat irons don't do is they flex to the curve of your hair so instead of flat ironing your hair flat completely flat and leaving marks on your hair after it flat irons your hair it's supposed to curve around your hair for a more precise flat ironing and it's supposed to be 50% less damage and that's what drew me in because I have been natural for going on 10 years I went from cutting my hair all off and doing the big chop and then growing my hair back and using products without alcohol anyway <laughs> this is the flat iron so this is the on button and it's gonna make me a liar <laughs> Well, there we go. There's the battery button. 
and it has an arrow telling you to push to what temperature you want it. And it goes from 330, 365 to 410. And it'll make a noise when it's done charging. So I'm gonna try doing it cordless first and see how that goes. What? This is the dock that came in. So it's cordless, guys. It's cordless. Now I'm sure it won't. That's telling me that it's done. So that was about like a. I want to say 10, 15 seconds for it to charge all the way up to 410 degrees Fahrenheit. Um, yeah, my hair is really coarse and thick, so that's what I'm going to flat iron it on. And I'll be putting it on the charger between um, straightening my hair. So here we go. Okay. So I'm going to start from the back. I'm going to take a small piece. That's amazing, sorry guys. This is my first time using this particular one. I usually use Tresemme heat protectant, but yeah. Now I am gonna comb it before. Okay, I'm gonna try to do one pass. Obviously I'm gonna do it slow. And Everyone said that you can put it towards your scalp, so let's see if that's indeed what you can do. Okay guys, I'm not gonna lie. So this is one pass. As you saw, I put some heat protectant on it and I have to section my hair smaller than most because of the thickness and it feels better than my other flat irons. I have a cheat air, by the way. It feels amazing. So look at that, guys. You can see that? That's one pass. One pass. Let me look at this. All right. I was kind of like, oh, I'm spending $499 on this. I get a discount, but I'm spending $499 on this dang thing. Uh, let's see what it does. I like it, first pass. All right, let's keep going. I'm gonna put it on the dock. And I'm just running my mouth, so I'm wasting the battery. Okay, so you have to make sure it's positioned on there correctly or it will not charge, so, okay. So this is heavier than your traditional flat iron, but I'm guessing because it's wireless, but nothing you can't get used to, honestly. And I don't feel as if my hair is being pulled, so that's a plus. Okay. When I tell you my hair feels soft, it feels soft. I'm so excited because 
my friends was like, oh, you gonna spend $499 on this flat iron? I was like, girl, I'm gonna try it out. So, <laughs> trying it out and I'll leave it. Okay, I will finish the rest of my hair off camera. I will show you guys the end results, okay? All right, so I'm gonna show you this. I get that. See that shine? Ooh. And that's one pass. I did one pass. So this is what it was, and this is what it is. <laughs> I don't know if I'm gonna cut that out or not, but this is what it was blow dried, and this is iron okay so this is a finished product I'll give you the side view this is the front that's the battery life <laughs> okay okay so between passes I was putting on the charging dock and the charging dock was plugged into the wall so I did still use it wirelessly, wirelessly because I was holding it like this and turning into this mirror and straightening my hair. So with a cord, I wouldn't be able to have that much room and not be tangled up. So the two things I like about the Dyson Corral flat iron is it straightens curly thick frizzy hair and leaves it with a result of feeling new and refreshing and straight um second thing i like about this flat iron is it gives you 50 percent less heat damage than a normal flat iron would and that was my go-to when i was looking at this flat iron and looking up the reviews like one of the things I dislike is it's not fully wireless if I didn't have it hooked up to the charging dock or if I didn't put it back on the charging dock after um, doing a pass on my hair then it probably would have died because my hair took 47 minutes to flat iron so that is my review on the Dyson Corel hair straightener and if you guys could leave some comments, tell me what you liked about the video, what you didn't like about the video, what you liked about the Dyson Corral straightener and what you didn't like about it. And comment, subscribe, and I'll see you next time.